Good afternoon, respect judge, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Parkin Baramirak from the Faculty of Medicine, Washila Hospital, No Mitalachila University, Thailand. It is with my honor to start the presentation here. First of all, I would like to thank to the Professor of Dermatology and Biostatistics Research at my faculty. A topic dermatitis is the most common chronic inflammatory skin disease with significant patient and population burden. The disease is of biophysic incident with the first peak in early childhood and the second in adulthood onset. The global AD parents is up to 20% of children and up to 10% of adults worldwide with more than 101 million adults inflicted. The underlying pathophysiology of AD was complex interplay between genetics, dysregulation of immune system, epidermal barrier disruption, and environmental factor. Emerging evidence has reported the pathophysiology of AD could lead to the increased risk of metabolic disease, which is known to be a significant risk factor for dementia. And let's now spotlight more on dementia. Every three seconds, a new case of dementia is diagnosed, with 55 million people live with dementia. And it is the major cause of disability and dependency among elderly. And thus, dementia poses a significant challenge to clinical and public health burden. Increasing evidence have reported the association of AD and dementia, and both diseases are of high prevalence and pose clinical burden with the overlap in adult period. However, the inconsistency remains among studies, and to the best of our knowledge, there is no prior systematic review and meta analysis, and this full fact warrant the systematic review and meta analysis of cohort study. And thus, our study was conducted with the objective as follows. First is to determine the risk of developing dementia among patients with adulthood AD. Second is to estimate the association of dementia across the severity spectrum of AD. Let's now continue with the methodology. First of all, we conduct a systematic review according to the Prisma and Cochrane Library guideline. The search engine includes PubMed, MBS, Scopus, Cochrane Library, and the query treasure for MedAchieve. A systematic search was done with keyword as shown, but we modify with each database as shown in the supplementary slide to identify the relevant study from inception to September 2023. All the process of screening data extraction and leaks by assessment were independently conducted by two reviewers. The eligible study were cohort study examining the leaks of dementia among adults age of more than 18 years old with AD versus non-AD control. The inclusion and exclusion criteria are shown on the screen. And finally, this study has already been registered in the post with the number as shown. The Prisma flow chart is shown on the screen here with five eligible study. And then the quality of study were access leaks off by ad with Newcastle Ottawa by ad assessment. And finally, the eligible study were pulled with random effect meta-analysis. The table of characteristics with extract core data was shown here. And totally, we obtained five studies with seven cohorts comprising more than 15 million population from various countries. And all studies are of high quality. Most importantly, adjust hazard ratio from the model which maximally adjust for confounder are selected for the pooling image analysis to ensure the least effect of confounder. The table shown here is a summary of NOS score among five studies. The report adjust hazard ratio was shown here, and as you can see, that we could determine the association of OR80 in all cause dementia, vascular, and Alzheimer. And additionally, the subgroup analysis could be performed by severity of AD in all cause dementia. The forest part indicated patients with AD are at higher risk of incident dementia with high heterogeneity and low publication by ASD. The significant association was consistent remain vascular and Alzheimer disease. And we further conduct a subgroup analysis according to the AD severity. Interestingly, only moderate to severe AD has higher risk of developing dementia, but not in my AD. And the uh, heterogeneity is significantly lower. The proposed mechanism for the relationship is that chronic systemic inflammation and immune dysregulation in AD could result in high circulating pro-inflammatory mediator, which could penetrate the blood-brain barrier and finally induce or exacerbate neuroinflammation and neurodegeneration. Another mechanism is that AD has been associated with poor insomnia, poor sleep, which may involve in the pathogenesis of dementia. 
the explanation for high heterogeneity in the association of OOAD and dementia may partly due to the fact as follow. First, the definition of AD is heterogeneous and different among the guidelines. Second, AD has a spectrum of severity which could lead to the misidentification of severity or mismanagement. The incoherent statistical adjustment of covariate. And fourth, different of study designs such as prospective and retrospective cohort or the follow-up period. However, as we conduct subgroup analysis by AD severity in our cause dementia, the subgroup of moderate to severe has I squared, which is uh, significantly lower. And thus, heterogeneity in overall AD may partly due to the mix up of uh, various AD spectrum of severity in the overall AD cohort. Additionally, the fact that high I square is still noticed in my AD may owing to the misdiagnosis of my AD as the critical manifestation is not as clear as the moderate to severe subgroup. Our study has several strengths. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first systematic review and meta-analysis to determine the causal association. And the subgroup analysis by AD severity and dementia subtype could provide better insight to the temporal association and clinical application. Our study also composed of large population cohort and our study are of high quality. And finally, no leaks of significant publication by us was observed. However, we admit several limitations. The subgroup by AD severity is only possible in our cause dementia and include only two cohort study. If more cohort study published in the future, we recommend to conduct an update system degree and meta-analysis. In conclusion, patients with adulthood AD is more at risk of developing dementia, especially when the disease is severe. Our study suggests that severe AD may need screening for dementia to early diagnose and early treatment to reduce morbid and mortal. Proper management of AD may reduce risk of dementia as the uh, reduce of chronic inflammation. And finally, I would like to thank you all for your undivided attention. Thank you.